Thank you, Pastor. Everybody praise the Lord. Everything he has said is of the glory of God and for your blessing. Tonight, blessing. Tonight, salvation. Tonight, the gospel of power. Tonight, healing and deliverance in your life in Jesus' name. I got it. I have it. It is mine. Father, we well, thank you. You are a God of love, a God of mercy, a God of compassion. You are concerned about everyone, everyone here, everyone online. We're asking, Lord, you'll do wonders in every life tonight in Jesus' name. Those who are joining us online and those who are in different cities and different congregations all over the world. Oh Lord, I pray, open the heavens upon everyone and let Emmanuel, God with us, God in us, God around us, God in front of us, and God behind us, and God above, showering blessing. Let him shower blessing upon everyone today. My brother, you'll have it. My sister, you'll have it. More than what you're asking for, the Lord grant everyone in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. We're coming again tonight. And we're talking about Emmanuel. Emmanuel, the marvelous God of the glorious gospel. The marvelous God with the glorious gospel. We're looking at Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, the plan of the ages, the plan from Genesis, from the beginning, and from the time of the first man on earth and the first woman on earth they got married but eventually they fell they fell away and immediately god made a plan that the world will be saved and that you in the world you will not be lost that you will not perish when you believe something i said you say amen you know and you need to say in Lagos, Amen. You know, the headquarters of the headquarters, Amen, is always heads and shoulders above all the rest of the world. Amen. The plan of the ages. He had done that and then he said, I'll put enmity between thee and the woman, between her seed and your seed. And when that seed comes, the seed of the woman, that's the virgin born savior, that's the virgin born son of God, that is Jesus. It's from that time, the father I've been looking ahead that Jesus will come. And now he has come. He came for you. He was looking for you. He's searching for you. That every evil thing that the fall of man has brought in your life, the Lord will reverse everything. Because the seed of the woman will bruise the head of the devil for you. And he went to the cross and he died for us that is the purpose that is the plan that is the project that is what he came to do and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name call his name jesus for he shall save his people from their sins he has come to save you from all your sin from the consequence of sin and from the author of sin from the devil tonight salvation in verse 22 it says in verse 22 
Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, verse 23, it says, Behold, a virgin shall be a wife child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us the god of power with us the god of compassion with us the god of mercy with us the pardoning god the saving god and the reviving god and the creative god that god is with us tonight emmanuel is with us and wherever he comes sins are forgiven wherever he comes healing is given freely and wherever he comes salvation healing deliverance a total package comes upon your life emmanuel the marvelous god with the glorious gospel there are three things we're looking at number one the marvelous presence of god with us marvelous presence of god with us number two is the marvelous power of the gospel in us marvelous power of the gospel the gospel has power the power that breaks every yoke that destroys all the works of the devil that turns your sorrow to joy are you there i said are you there tonight well i can see you i know you are there in body i was uh, asking whether you are there with all your mind and with all your heart and you are hearing everything and you know that the power of the gospel will turn your sorrow to joy in jesus name <laughs> number three is the marvelous penetration of the globe through us you know as god comes to you and you have the salvation you have the joy you have the healing you have the deliverance you have the freedom you will carry that salvation that freedom you carry to the new year you carry your victory everything you've got you carry it anywhere you go victory will be following after you everywhere you go the freedom we have the salvation we have you'll take that you will penetrate the globe with that joy that salvation in jesus name look at number one there number one is the marvelous presence of god with us the marvelous presence of god with us well if you have um, you know the problem solver living with you all the time watch a presence you have if you have uh, anyone that can create anything manufacture anything and whatever is missing in your family in your life in your body in your sight in your ear you have somebody who can create that thing and manufacture that which uh, for you what a glorious thing if you have uh, the, the person with you who answers every prayer who gives all the gifts of heaven in our lives what a glorious presence that's what you are talking about the marvelous presence of god with us with you yeah. with you yeah. and tonight if there's any barrier that separates you from that marvelous god mighty god merciful god that barrier will be taken away yeah. and then face to face you will see that this god of power he has come to live with you he has come to abide in your family look at that verse 23 of matthew chapter 1 again it tells us behold a virgin shall be a child something incredible something impossible and something improbable you you think of a woman who has not met a man a virgin that had never had any connection with 
any man and yet miraculously somebody help me shout miraculously she conceived <laughs> she was wondering how can this happen it happened because god did the impossible for her so that through what will come out of her it will do something impossible for you something improbable that nobody will ever think that this will happen how did that happen that virgin mary at that improbable thing the lord did the improbable in her life so that through jesus that comes out of her improbable things will become possible in your life how did god and why did god do that impossible thing he did that impossible thing to tell you that what appears impossible in the life of men and women what appears impossible in the history of the whole world he did that impossible thing for her so that jesus will come out and then he will come and sit with you amen he'll come and stand with you there and when he comes he does the impossible in your life what you have never read about solution you have never found anywhere freedom you have never found anywhere the power you have never found anywhere impossible impossible is cancelled from your dictionary improbable is cancelled from your dictionary incredible that's cancelled from your dictionary what you thought you could not do emmanuel this marvelous a uh, uh, marvelous mighty god present with us is present with you tonight it will do it in your life as you open your mouth and say lord forgive me it looks impossible i've gone too far i've gone too deep i've gone into sin that people around me will not believe it looks impossible but it's possible it will forgive you it looks improbable but it will be done i rejoice with you emmanuel has come to you there the gospel has come to you there the goodness of the lord has come to you there it is done in jesus name matthew chapter 28 verse 18 in matthew chapter 28 verse 18 and jesus came and spake unto them saying all power nobody could have said that before him all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth you know sometimes when we sit down and we're thinking about ourselves and we have you know we have self-talk i'm talking to myself i'm thinking about myself i'm thinking about my challenges i'm thinking about some impossibilities i'm thinking about some mountain i need to climb and i say oh me look at this how can this be done because sometimes we forget that the one that has all power is with us christ jesus Emmanuel, God with us. He said, All power is given unto me. And when it comes to you, it comes with that all power. And it's coming to you tonight. He has the power to save, the power to forgive, the power to turn our lives around, the power to turn a soul to become a Paul, the power that can change anyone, anywhere on the in the globe that is all over the world. That power has now come, and the power that can heal every sickness every infirmity that all the yoke you bear you know <laughs> there are times uh, you have uh, a chain binding something and then there's a padlock and you say help us help us open this uh, padlock and you know a man he tries he tries he tries he said what kind of padlock is this nobody can open this one but there is never any padlock that jesus cannot open 
there's never any dungeon in which a man has fallen that Christ cannot bring you out because all power is given unto him in heaven and in earth and he comes to you today free free of charge that once you say Jesus marvelous God mighty God compassionate God I want you I want you in my life immediately he will never say no to you Amen. who am I talking to over there he will never 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 say no to you in Jesus name all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth look at verse 19 verse 19 go ye therefore and teach all nations go ye therefore and teach all nations what are we teaching them well the other teachers are already teaching math they're teaching chemistry they're teaching physics they're teaching history they're teaching government they're already teaching all those other subjects but they have problems that math cannot solve they are problems that chemistry physics cannot stop they are problems that quantum physics and they, whatever it is cannot solve and it says to you go into all the world and teach all nations what are you teaching them you're teaching them that Christ Emmanuel has come and he has sent me here to tell you and to teach you that Emmanuel has come and Emmanuel is for you. Yeah. That the problems that others cannot solve, the problem that philosophy or psychology cannot solve, that Emmanuel has come. And because he has come, that Emmanuel is for you. And you can have him just at the mention of his name, Jesus. Why don't you say that now? Yeah. I give myself to you. Come in. Come in to stay. Come in today. You will answer your prayer. Go into all the world. He said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. After he has come to you, he wants you to show that you have actually come to him. And he wants you to demonstrate to everyone around by water baptism after he comes to your heart. And then in verse 20, he says, Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever i have commanded you because you know before verse 18 and before he came to you if you tried you couldn't keep all those commandments but remember the impossible has now become possible what you could not do before now you will do easily and the improbable has now become probable in your life the incredible has become real in your life because of that now as you are taught this is what Jesus wants that's what I want this is what Jesus wants you to observe that's what I'm going to observe teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I've commanded you and lo I am with you always you didn't hear that one behold i am with you always when you have jesus as your savior he will now abide with you always he will never leave you he will never forsake you and whatever you need anytime mention that name to the father you are going to receive in jesus name i am with you always in the morning afternoon and evening he will be with you yeah. December end of the year is he with you yeah. over here now is he with you yeah. remember his savior remember his healer remember his provider the healer will always be with you yeah. the deliverer will always be with you the giver of life everlasting life he'll always be with you and then he says even unto the end of the world as the end of the world come you see with us now will he be with us until the end of the world that's what he said and he is the truth he is the way 
he is the life as you bring him to your life and say i accept i believe i yield myself unto him the marvelous presence of god will be with you yeah. will be with me yeah. look at isaiah chapter 43 i'm looking at verse 2 isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 remember now you're born again you give your life to him and his emmanuel is with you all the time and always and it says when thou passest through the waters i will be with thee and it says and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee you see there are times we come in life to problems that overwhelm us they want to sweep us away drown us but he said no any ship where christ emmanuel is will never drown you'll never be drowned in jesus name and then he says when thou walkest through the fire the fire the fire thou shalt not be burnt god has a goal for your life he has a plan for your life and even though you are passing through fire you will not be burnt in jesus name the plan of god will not be burnt up in your life the plan of god will not be burnt up in my life neither shall the flame kindle upon the look at verse 18 verse 18 remember ye not the former things neither consider the things of old you know i used to be like this i used to fall i used to fail i used to you know get into this uh, you know problem don't remember that anymore emmanuel comes to you tonight and everything will turn around for the better look at verse 19 verse 19 behold i will do a new thing he comes to you and say why have you come lord he said i want to do a new thing in your life and at this at the end of this year he wants to do that new thing now and he says now it shall spring forth shall ye not know it i will even make a way in your wilderness and rivers in your desert amen verse 21 verse 21 this people have i formed for myself he has not formed you for satan satan will not have authority over your life this people have i formed for myself he has not formed you for society and secret society will not have authority in your life these people have i formed for myself they shall show forth my praise a new day is starting for you today point number two here number two in the marvelous power of the gospel in us god with us the gospel in us it's not good to be empty not in this life empty of the power of the gospel it's not good to miss or to lose power inside you you know that tree there tall big but empty in the trunk when the wind blows because of the emptiness it will blow that tree down the same thing with man if man all he goes about he has a heavy head what i mean by that yes yeah, so all those uh, subjects that you know the root of the board in the head heavy in the head but empty at that because everything the human teacher teaches us can only go to the head the head speaks to the head but there is a vacuum in your heart that only god can feel and no other teacher no other subject can feel that vacuum and if you are empty in that heart although the head is heavy loaded with earthly knowledge when the wind of this world blows it, i don't want to see you it you will not be blown down 
But you see the people that are empty at that the wind of the world will blow, it will blow them down. But when you have God with us and then you have the gospel in you, everything is balanced up. Because in Romans chapter 1, verse 16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of of God the gospel of Christ the truth and the knowledge of Christ and the understanding about Emmanuel what Emmanuel has come to do that is the gospel what's the gospel what Emmanuel Christ Jesus our Lord what he came to the earth to do that's the gospel did you know that now what he did on the cross and he died for you and he said forgive them father for they know not what they do what he did on the cross that is the gospel what he told us that if you will ask anything in my name the father will give it unto you the words he said the work he did the wonders he performed all that together is the gospel and when you have that gospel in you it will the power of god unto your salvation salvation amen, amen. and he says to everyone that believeth the people who hear the gospel what christ did for them at Calvary what Christ said concerning them at Calvary and what Christ already gave as he gave his name the people who believe that and they say yes Lord it is for me to everyone that believe it to the Jew first and also to the Greek to the Gentile look at verse 17 in verse 17 for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith the righteousness of God he demanded that righteousness and I could not produce the righteousness God has, uh, has demanded and you could not produce the righteousness Christ has provided and then Christ, the God has demanded and now Christ came uh, and he said I'll take your unrighteousness and I will give you my righteousness a great exchange tonight he will give you his righteousness and when he gives you the righteousness you have the key because it's the righteousness of christ in us that is now the key it's revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith you will live by faith you are not perish. You cannot perish by faith. You know the the just cannot perish by faith. Once you have faith in the Lord and say, Lord, I accept that the gospel, everything you said at Calvary, everything you did at Calvary, that gospel I receive. You will live by faith in Jesus' name. And then he tells us in Mark chapter sixteen, reading from verse. 15 in, in mark chapter 16 verse 15 uh, and he said unto them go ye into all the world and preach the gospel the gospel to every creature what's the gospel the what cleanses our heart what transforms our mind and what heals our body it says spirit soul and body spirit mind and body the totality of the man the gospel is not just for your soul and then it leaves your body in sickness the gospel is not just for your spirit and then leaves your body in sickness the gospel for the whole man the gospel for the whole you all of you everything inside you 
the gospel will penetrate that and then uh, all around you every form of pain every form of sickness the gospel is to deal with every challenge you have uh, in your body and is coming upon your life today in jesus name and you say go ye into all the world all the world don't say no that one can they cannot have that one they cannot have you know there are some people who not even talk to all the people they say they cannot how do you know they cannot if you talk they will receive the gospel and you today everyone here you will receive i can't see anybody that you know cannot cannot anybody there cannot you cannot drink water cannot you cannot breathe air you cannot you cannot believe the gospel you cannot you can i can i can believe i can accept i can receive i can and i will you know anybody who knows he can do something he must follow it up with i will you want to remain alive i can breathe i will breathe you want to remain alive i can drink water i will drink the water and whosoever will let him come and take up me the water of life freely you can it says and preach the gospel to every creature because every creature has the possibility of having of receiving that gospel look at verse 16 in verse 16 he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved you know there are people that say i believe i believe and they remain isolated in the wilderness of the world and when you know we want to do the follow-up and prepare them for what about baptism they say no i just believe now that's like walking on one leg through life you are saved because you believe number one and because you are baptized but you know if you're going to walk straight you use your two legs one two one two one two that's how we walk but the pillow says i believe but I but what about you see uh -uh. he has only one leg how far are you going to walk if you're only standing on one leg you're hopping and hopping and hopping on one leg put the second foot there one two saved baptized saved baptized and you will walk far in the kingdom of god in jesus name and then it says he that believeth not shall be damned I will not be damned i will not be damned say it for yourself believe on the lord jesus christ and you'll be saved and you will not be damned and then something will follow you good things will follow you look at verse 17 and this sign shall follow them that believe like your shadow follows you you don't even think about it the sun is shining and you are walking in the open because of that your shadow will be following out the sun of righteousness with healing in his wings because it's there that there is seen as you are walking one two one two one two something is following you evil will not follow you perplexity will not follow you defeat will not follow your life signs shall follow them that believe do you know that tonight signs are going to come upon your life signs and wonders healing and deliverance wherever you are anywhere you are there far away at the back there in the corner there the lord is waiting for you as you receive the lord signs wonders healing deliverance miracle will follow after you in my name they shall cast out devils say good amen there they shall speak 
with new tongues say another amen, amen. look at verse 18 in verse 18 they shall take up serpents not for show any serpent that comes wanting to destroy their lives they just pinch that place throw it away you may not even see it and you'll never see it again in jesus name something is walking about in the body whether a serpent or scorpion or whatever lay your hand there and when we mention the name of jesus when you remove your hand the serpent is taken away the scorpion is taken away and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them what does that mean you know in life you've been drinking deadly things you've been drinking alcohol you've been drinking a poison and the drinking of those deadly things they bring cancer and they bring a sickness but now when the lord comes to you all the deadly things you've drunk in the past they're neutralized the consequence is broken the yoke is broken from your life and they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall lay hands on the sick and they become sicker they become weaker they will die what will happen they shall recover that's why i tell you i say lay that hand upon yourself why did why do i say that normally if you are the only one i could lay their hands on you i could come to you or you can come to me but look at the multitude here i said i transfer the anointing in my hand i transfer it to your hand and i should normally have laid the hands on you and i know the anointing in my hand because of his name the anointing will break every yoke but because you are 10 you are 20 you are 100 you are a thousand you are many thousands i say okay let's do it this way i transfer that anointing in your hand what is the hand then i say lay that hand on yourself and jesus will also lay that hand where you are laying the hand and they shall lay their hands on the seed and they shall recover <laughs> look at that brother tonight you recover look at that sister my daughter there tonight you recover look at that boy look at that girl you recover and anywhere you are in the globe you will recover in jesus name the marvelous power of the gospel in us look at number three number three the marvelous penetration of the globe through us the marvelous penetration of the globe through us you know when we have something now by the grace of god we carry that everywhere we go if you happen to be a medical doctor you have the knowledge and everywhere you go if you go to the village you carry that knowledge there if you go to another city you carry that knowledge there if you travel overseas as they're looking for you know people who can do this and do that professionals and you make up your mind you want to travel there you carry that knowledge to the globe everywhere you go the same thing with the salvation we have the same thing with the eternal life we have the same thing with the power of the gospel we have everywhere we go now we carry that gospel with us we carry that power with us and when you go around you're not empty anymore i am not empty anymore uh, look at psalm 68 and we're reading from verse 11 psalm 68 verse 11 the lord gave the word the word of mercy the lord gave the word the word of salvation the lord gave the word the word of his power the lord gave the word and the word of deliverance the lord gave the word the word of healing the lord gave the word great was the company of those that published it you first of all receive it like you are receiving it tonight the word of mercy you receive tonight 
the word of salvation you receive tonight the word of healing you receive tonight the word of Christ that can never pass away heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall never pass away you receive the word and you are going to take that word home the word works wonders and it works wonder to start with in your life and then anywhere you go and you take that wonders will happen and great was the company of those that published it you'll preach it you'll publish it you will present it everywhere you go your life will speak in the power of the gospel and you will not be empty anymore I will not be empty anymore because this word as you go with the word anywhere in the world you penetrate your world in Jesus name look at Acts chapter 8 I'm reading from verse 4 Acts chapter 8 reading from verse 4 therefore they that was scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word speaking the word the word of assurance and the word of salvation anyone you come across first of all your life your new life will speak to them and then they'll be asking the question i know i know you and i used to know that you are like this you are like that but you are different now i'm talking about you you're different now how did that happen now you will tell them uh, the gospel i got the gospel i receive uh, the salvation of god and it happened to me as it happened to me it will happen to you can i tell you something no you don't want to hear every good thing uh, that has happened to me since I had Jesus in my heart will happen to you. Every good assurance I have, the salvation I have, God will not give you a lower salvation. The healing and the health I have. Am I well? Am I healthy? get ready it's coming your way the same thing that i got when i believed the gospel i rejoice with you that same thing you will have in jesus name and the same thing you have the salvation you have you go tell others and those others they will have what you have and when they have what you have what you have will not be taken away from you Amen. healing Amen. deliverance Amen. redemption Amen. joy Amen. happiness Amen. new life Amen. what you have by the gospel you share it says therefore they that was scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word look at one of them we're looking at verse 5 in verse 5 it says then philip went down to the city of samaria all alone by himself the apostles were not with him but jesus emmanuel was with him that's the secret anywhere you go don't say i'm alone i'm alone no you are not alone after you receive jesus christ as your personal savior jesus Emmanuel, God with us, he will never leave you. And so Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. He said, Christ saved me and Christ will save you. Christ healed me and Christ will heal you. Christ delivered me and Christ will deliver you. That's all he said. That's all he said. He said, I received of the benefit of Calvary through Christ. And then it's for everyone. There's no partiality. What I got from Calvary, you will 
have you went down to the city of samaria and preached christ unto them look at verse 6 in verse 6 and the people with one accord give heed unto those things which philip spake hearing and seeing the miracles which he did which he did by the name of christ in the power of christ with the declaration of the gospel of christ and the same gospel we're declaring today it will bring miracle in your life yeah. healing in your life deliverance in your life eternal life in your life in jesus name it says they saw and they heard you will see you will hear first of all you will see each in yourself miracle you will see each in other people around you here tonight miracle you will hear from online what god is doing to everyone that calls on the name of jesus hearing and seeing the miracles which he did look at verse 7 it says for unclean spirits crying with loud voice came out of many unclean spirits they are not remain in you anymore <laughs> have you noticed you get to a room a room is dark very dark you couldn't see anything but you happen to know where the switch is and you put it on and the light comes where is the darkness now is he struggling with the light jesus is the light of the world and when he comes to your life darkness power of darkness everything will vanish away and those that were possessed there and many taking what pulses and that were lame were healed then and now in Samaria here now in Lagos in Lagos online everywhere salvation healing deliverance they were healed you are healed you are healed now if you know that you will act out the healing what do i mean by that somebody feels sick because of that will bring food you will not even try you will say i cannot eat i am sick but when he feels well you say is that food still there I can eat now you can eat now yeah. somebody is sick and is bedridden and is lying down there because he has the mind he has the knowledge i am sick he lies down there get up i cannot but now christ comes to you you have not heard emmanuel comes to you he lays that anointed hand on you there's no way you will not get healing you'll be healed there but remember when you felt you were sick you were lying down now that you know that you are healed what will happen i said what will happen the joy of that healing the joy of that touch you will get up and tonight you will get up that head that is you know, almost like hot water they are boiling water there everything will come down that swelling everything will vanish away that pain in your joints everything will be taken away tonight and then all the you know the fever the heat and everything i don't understand everything will vanish away the blindness in the eyes tonight you will see the deafness and the dumbness tonight everything will go away because jesus emmanuel god with us 
he has come tonight and it says they were healed look at verse 8 in verse 8 and there was great joy in that city here tonight great joy yeah. my right hand side great joy yeah. in front of me to the back great joy yeah. To the good left hand over here. Look at me as I look at you. Great joy. At the back, great joy. Shouts of healing. Shouts of deliverance. Shouts of miracle. Shouts of the supernatural. This is the time the improbable will become probable. The incredible will become possible. The impossible will become possible in your life. Tonight. Tonight. When is your salvation? When is your freedom? When is your forgiveness? The thing that Christ provided at Calvary. Forgive them for they know not what they do. When will that be fulfilled in your life? It's about an eyes closed. It's about an eyes closed. He wants to do that right now in your life. He wants to do that right now in your spirit. All the guilt he wants to take away. All the condemnation he wants to take away. He wants to give you the joy of forgiveness. The joy of salvation. As it's about and, and the eyes are closed. You want to have that now. Of course you want to. You want to. You want to have that forgiveness. You want to have the joy that there's no condemnation anymore. You want to have the happiness that Christ the Savior has come to you and he has save you wherever you are raise up that hand raise up that hand do that cheerfully and do that joyfully and do that promptly and say yes that's what i want that's what i want forgiveness i want what was proclaimed at calvary to be mine today raise up that hand if you are raising up the hand to the left to the right to the center at the back anywhere and online stand up wherever you are condemnation will go away god bless you there god bless you there and all the guilt everything will vanish away stand up right there and say lord here i am i believe the gospel i believe your word i believe your promise that whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved lord i come lord i come and lord i receive you repent of your sin turn away from your sin and turn away from all those sins that brought guilt and condemnation in your heart and say lord I come now, I come, I come, and whosoever comes to him, he will in no wise reject. And keep standing as we pray together. This is salvation, this is eternal life, and this is the gospel taking effect and taking root in your life right now. Keep on standing, raise up the hand. Remember why you are standing, remember why you are raising up your hand, what Christ said on the cross of calvary forgive them they know not what they do what christ did at calvary taking your guilt and taking your condemnation and taking your load of sin he wants to fulfill that right now that's why you are raising up your hand that's why you are standing up and we're going to pray now it will happen to you salvation will happen to you forgiveness will happen to you freedom will happen to your name will be written in the book of life we're praying father in the mighty name of jesus thank you for your love thank you lord because christ came so that every sinner that hears the voice and that receives the word will be saved and i pray that your salvation will come to every one of them right now in jesus name you're not a partial god you don't save one and leave the other one to perish you so ever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved lord manifest your power 
Manifest your goodness. Manifest your mercy. Save them in Jesus' name. I pray that the Spirit of God will bear witness in your heart that God cannot lie. What He said He will do, He will always do. And that He has done that, that He said that if you call, you will be saved. I pray that the Spirit of God will bear witness in your heart now. You are saved. You are forgiven. You are set free. Eternal life is now in you and the joy of salvation abides in you now will continue with you for your throughout your life in jesus name thank you lord because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray amen god bless you keep on standing keep on standing our counselors are there and they're going to you know help you they'll ask you questions and you answer the questions and you fill the form we'll call on our pastor our moderating uh, pastor tonight to lead us in this session and then after he has finished i'll be coming back healing is guaranteed for everyone tonight I'd like to congratulate as many of you as responded to this altar call tonight. Please ensure to complete the forms, decision slips given to you are fully. Preferably, you should use the uppercase that is capital letter, so we'll be able to read what you've written. Ensure you provide your correct name, please. Don't forget, the best definition of a man's life is in the quality of his decisions. If you want to get to heaven, the journey is starting now. Make up your mind and don't play the hide and seek. You stood up now and somehow the enemy is trying to tempt you not to provide information or to complete the form. Well, you'll be regretting that much later. As many as receive him, to them gave you power to become the sons of God. Please make up your mind. Even if you didn't stand up. And the spirit of God has convicted you. Please. Please make up your mind. Because the gospel of the kingdom. Is the best. Best. Best gift the world has received. I cancel us please. Be smart at it. We'll be having a double dose of God's visitation tonight. The first is the free gift of eternal salvation. The second is the touch from above. The man of God is here. Blind eyes will see tonight. Yes, dim eyesight will be brightened tonight. But please, let's do first things first please quickly com complete that form ensure you provide your names fully please the address should be a uh, traceable ensure that you even give uh, the best description of your environment maybe the bus stop and then the area of your residence very important Please, uh, counselors, try to spot them out and encourage them. Let's be smart at it. From that axis there, please, be smart at it. If you're able to write, you can collect the decision slip from the counselors and then complete the form on your own. And when you know you can complete the form successfully, please draw the attention of the counselors to assist you. It's allowable. I told you tonight, I told you earlier on, that tonight is the night of the gospel. A night of demonstration. A night of the show of God's love and mercy. Please, please, Begin with God. Start with God. By giving your life to Christ. 
It might be late tomorrow. God does not give us the full picture of what happens in the future. Therefore, take advantage of today's opportunity and ensure that you live here with the gospel. I'm talking about the genuine gospel, the life-changing gospel. Don't be left out. We're all in the invisible train or ark and we're moving towards heaven. Join and you'll never, never, never be disappointed. The Lord will visit you tonight. But please start. Don't forget, the scripture says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto you. Good health, promotion, knowledge, success in your business, successful marital life, successful career, many more. And all these other things shall be added unto you. There is always a starting point. Please don't skip or jump the gun. The starting point is salvation. Seek it first. Seek it first. The kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these other things shall be added unto you. Don't forget the voice of prophet Isaiah. And he says, come now and let us reason together. See us the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet. Don't write yourself up. You can see the messenger of God, the prophet of God, are showing you tonight that Jesus is here and is very willing to forgive your sins. Therefore, don't write of yourself. Come now and let us reason together. See us the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, it shall eat the good of the land. That is the scripture. That is the gospel. Appropriate this portion to yourself. Start this new project with God. And whatever your partner with God to do can never fail. Our counselors, please. Let's be smart at it. Because I know that tonight, I know that tonight, yes, I know that tonight, the Lord will heal lame legs here. Tonight there will be jubilation here. Even on equal hands, we are made equal by the power of God. Swollen legs will become normal. It will recede. Cancer will be healed here tonight. But please, do the first things first. Heart diseases, lungs related diseases, pancreatic cancer, whatever it is, bladder failure, kidney failure, arthritis. You have had a man of God declaring, making scriptural and prophetic declarations against the presence, against the occupation of those agents of destruction. You will have a portion tonight. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. You are here on the first day of this global crusade. You are here the second day. You are here the third day. And tonight you've been here. You've had the word of God. And some are still reneging in their sins. Committed to their sins. Marrying their sins. Please don't deceive yourself. Ensure to reconcile with Jesus. His arms are wide open unto you. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will receive you unto myself. Amen. I think we are ready. Praise the Lord. I'm going to enjoin everyone to rise up because right now, the power of the gospel, the Holy Spirit's power, the Buddha's the power will be manifestation and in action now against all diseases, against all problems. 
you will be set free in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive tonight. I believe tonight. I will see and hear the signs and the wonders. No, no, say that for I will see. I will hear. I will feel. I'll have my signs and wonders. Have my healing. Have my deliverance. Remember, the hand of Jesus will touch you now. Those hands are anointed. You lay the hand where you have the problem. You raise up the other hand. And when we mention the name of Jesus, his anointing will break every yoke in your life. I see those blind eyes, they will be open. Deaf ears will hear. The dumb will speak. That issue of blood will dry up. That cancer will dry up. Also, you'll be healed. Yeah. HIV AIDS, you'll be healed. Yeah. Short leg will grow out. Yeah. The lame will rise up and walk. Yeah. There is joy, great joy, in this place tonight. Yeah. And online, everywhere, you are hearing and participating with us. Great joy. Raise up that hand. Believe, receive. Father, in Jesus' name. Good God, merciful God, compassionate God, mighty God that cannot fail. I pray, Lord, go around, touch everyone, heal everyone, deliver everyone. Search everyone free in Jesus' name. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe, receive your healing and deliverance. Lord, I pray for those who have any problem, mental problem, insanity, I cast out that evil spirit. You are free in Jesus' name. Any problem with the bone structure from the neck to the backbone to the waist. Lord, I pray, set everything right in their bone structure right now in Jesus' name. Swelling of any kind, fibroid, cancer, boil there. That refuses to be healed, goiter, hunchback, every form of swelling, take them out in Jesus' name. That leg shorter than the other, I command you, grow out right now in Jesus' name. One arm shorter than the other, grow out now. In Jesus' name. The pain in your waist, the pain anywhere in your body. I pray the Lord touch you right now. Pain come out in Jesus' name. Cancer be healed. My dear sister, my brother, dear, you will not die. Cancer come out in Jesus' name. Also, be healed in Jesus' name. Those ears pop open now and begin to hear. Those tongues tied, be loose right now. Dim eyes, blind eyes, be healed in Jesus' name. Pile, is your blood coming out? Either coming out when you urinate or coming out when you pull. I pray, Lord, that blood will stop. 
from the inside from the source I pray the source will dry up in Jesus name skin disease leprosy be healed in Jesus name Lord I pray on my right at the center at the back at the left confirm your signs and wonders miracles healing deliverance total freedom from your sickness and from every evil spirit as it's happening here online in jesus name over the television over the radio healing deliverance in jesus name everywhere now joy of receiving miracle joy of receiving healing joy of receiving your deliverance the power of the lord is upon you what you could not do before improbable incredible impossible everything is possible now you will do because you are healed i am healed i am delivered confirmation in every life in jesus name we pray